What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I have a topic today, and that is haters. And you may be thinking, okay, why do you want to talk about haters? Well, one of my favorite commentators, Woody's Gamer Tag, posted a video uh, about haters, and it was a really, 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 really insightful video, and he got the, uh, the main idea, I guess, from this podcast by Joe Rogan. I've never heard of this guy before, but... I uh, just watched the video, and uh, I just want to pass on the word about haters and really how haters operate and uh, all that. So, first off, uh, haters operate on jealousy, and basically, to define a hater would be, at least in our community, in our gaming community, they watch somebody that, uh, in their hearts, you know, deep down, they know, hey... This guy's, you know, good content, man. I mean, really doing a great job. I wish I could do what he did. And then they transform their jealousy. Sorry, they transform that kind of feeling into jealousy. And so what do they do? They start hating. They start picking flaws. They go through people's videos intentionally to try to find something wrong with them, to point them out, to make the person feel bad about you know, whatever they did wrong, and it was so minuscule and tiny that it really didn't even affect their first uh, impression of the video, but just the fact that they're so envious of that person and, you know, the hard work that they uh, do to make something that they have to point out flaws and all that stuff, you know. It's okay to have an opinion, but to have a gross opinion that's extremely offensive, um, you know, Something stupid like, for example, Wings of Redemption always gets comments about his uh, weight, and that's it's ridiculous. People are, they see his content, and deep down, you know, somewhere in there, it's, it's inspiring to them because they want to do what they do, but maybe they know in their hearts that they can't, so they transform that inspiration into jealousy, and it becomes a hate. And uh, it's contagious, it's pathetic, and anytime you see any unnecessary hate out there, there's no hate that's even necessary. Hate is not necessary in any sense of the word. But anytime you see any hate out there, just just fight the hate, man. Just don't even... I mean, I, I it just sickens me when I see something stupid as hell uh, that someone writes, you know, at least on my videos. I'm lucky that my channel is hate-free. And that's because most of the time, maybe you've noticed I've snapped back at some of you guys if you comment on something. Uh, it's because some of you are a bit critical, but it's not like it's so critical that I have to, uh, you know, cry myself to sleep, blah, 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 whatever. But, you know, I guess there's a fine line between being critical mm -hmm. and hate. But, uh, you know, there's also what I said, that extreme jealousy that people, when they see something quality you know, that someone took a long time to do. I have a great example of this. This would be my Kowloon Cafe Machinima. And that probably took about 10 hours total, 12 hours of work to do. And you may be thinking, wow, that's not very much. It is. That's about 24 more times work it takes to make this commentary right here. You know, this takes not a lot of, blech, not a lot of time at all to do. And this is generally the you know five to ten minute commentaries are what all you know most commentators do but when they make produce something that's an art uh, with a storyline using uh, a game engine you know that's machinima what in, in its essence it's machinima but when someone takes the time to produce machinima or um, a sick montage or something that just takes longer than the run-of-the-mill video in the gaming community on YouTube uh, and they receive hate for it. It's just really kind of, it's just like a gut, it's a kidney shot is how I would describe it. It's just a really not good feeling when, you know, a, you know, a video gets twice as many dislikes as likes. That's what my uh, Cow and Cafe video on Machinima is. And if you've never heard of that, you can go look it up and uh, determine it for yourself. But you know, I've talked about the YouTube audience before and how old people generally are. And it's that 12-year-old to 17-year-old range is the majority. And 
you know, some people are extremely insecure, and I really feel sorry for people that are insecure that just don't feel good about themselves. So, once again, what they do, they go watch a video on YouTube, and they, you know, like I said, deep down in there, they recognize it's quality stuff. But, you know, they can't react to it. They're like, hey, I want to do that, but maybe they can't. So they turn it into jealousy, and jealousy turns into hate. And uh, once again, jealousy is a horrible trait. You don't want to be jealous about anybody. And if someone inspires you to do something, go out and do it. That's what the fuck I did, guys, with my channel. I didn't turn my jealousy of watching the Tabes and the Woodies and the Wings of Redemption. I didn't take my watching their YouTubes and turn it into hate. I turned it into inspiration, and that's what it should be turned into. And um, there you go. That's haters in a nutshell. And uh, hope you got something out of this commentary. And it was a bit, a, a little bit more serious. But once again, I'm so fortunate to have awesome subscribers such as you guys that are watching this video. Um, you know, a lot of you don't hate, and I will admit, uh, even the one dislike on a video does, you know, get me a little bit. I'm not like, you know, as someone will describe butthurt about it, but I'm not like <laughs> severely pissed off about one dislike, but it's just, um, that whole hater complex that I just talked about, you know, <laughs> envious, envy, envy. Is you know what is it one of the seven deadly sins or something? Envy? I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. And once again, please bring topics to the comments below. I'd like to know what you guys want me to talk about in the next random commentary. And um, yeah, a lot of you also, or not a lot of you, a few of you wanted me to get Black Ops gameplay. I'm going to use all of the black, uh, Battlefield gameplay that I've saved up on my hard drive before I try to go get more gameplay. And let me just tell you, I doubt it's going to be Black Ops. I don't think I'm going to touch that game except for the zombies until um, until Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield. You know, or not Battlefield, but Modern Warfare 3. So, once again, click that like button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.